Hi there. Today I'll provide you a quick tour of the Web Animator user interface. This is what Web Animator looks like with a completed project. Right in the middle is the canvas. It's where you add, modify, arrange elements, and preview your work. You can hold down Ctrl and scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To fit the canvas into the viewport size, press Ctrl plus O or click the Fit on Screen button. As you can see, all scene content now appears in the viewport window. Below the canvas is the timeline pane. It's where you devote most of your time in adding keyframes, creating, timing, and perfecting animations. You can create more than one timeline for a single scene, each timeline holds different animations. Then, you can use actions to play each timeline to respond to certain circumstances. Now moving up, above the canvas is the responsive toolbar. This toolbar together with the breakpoints pane help create and manage layouts in responsive documents. While you can use the breakpoints pane to select different layouts, adjusting layouts is done using the responsive toolbar. It also allows you to preview your content right within the editor, for convenience. You can see that the canvas resizes as I drag the border. Above the responsive toolbar are the document tab, the main toolbar, and the main menu. The main menu has seven menus in total. Each has commands associated with the menu name. Below it is the main toolbar which contains buttons for some of the most common tasks like creating new projects, opening, and exporting. If you're not sure what a button does, position the pointer over the button and read the tooltip that appears. Regarding the document tab, you can place the pointer over the project name to see the project path and right-click to open the project location. Now take a look at the left and right of the canvas. There are several panes which are placed together and in group. Each pane has different functions. To the left of the canvas, the scenes pane displays thumbnail views of scenes. A document may have one scene or more to separate content. In the same group with the scenes pane is the document pane. Here you can define some document properties and export options. To the right of the canvas, the properties pane displays element properties. Whatever element you select, this pane shows properties relating to that element so that you can adjust and fine-tune properties. In fact, the properties pane is one of the places where you spend most of your time building animations. Now we have three panes left. The elements pane displays all elements included in a project. You often use it to quickly identify and select elements. The Resources pane, as the name implies, stores all resources like images, videos, and symbols. The last pane is Functions. It's where you create JavaScript functions to control various aspects of a document. You may know that Web Animator provides numerous built in actions, but for complex interactivity, you must hand code and write your own functions. That's some basics about the user interface. Remember that you can create a custom workspace to work efficiently. Thank you for watching.